gosh. All right, last video for today. We're going to talk about standard form since we didn't get it to it in our last one. So standard form. Now what standard form for a polynomial is, is it means that you're taking each of the monomials that you have there and you're listing them in order of their degree. Now the biggest degree goes first and then the smallest degree goes last. So over on the left hand side, you'll have the largest degree monomial, which therefore has the leading coefficient, right? So it kind of makes sense that it's got the leading coefficient. And you kind of need how it makes sense there, right? So the leading coefficient will be in the lead. It'll be first because that's the coefficient in front of the highest degree monomial. And then it will go to the next degree and the next degree. Now, when we get into having more than one variable, it's very possible that you'll have two different monomials that have the same degree because they have different letters. Now, if that's the case, then we go alphabetical by highest degree. Okay, and so we'll look at a couple of examples. All right, so let's go with the first one. What we're going to do is we're going to kind of review everything that we've been doing so far. And so we're going to answer what type of polynomial is this? Monomial, binomial, trinomial, or polynomial. What is the degree? What is the leading coefficient? And then write it in standard form. Okay, so first off, what type of polynomial is this? Well, this is a 1, 2, 3. So this is a trinomial. Number two, what is the degree of the polynomial? So remember for degree, we're going to look for the degree of the highest degree monomial. This one is a degree of three. This one is a degree of two. This one is a degree of one. So the degree of the highest degree polynomial is three. So this is a third degree polynomial. All right, what is the leading coefficient? Well, that's the coefficient in front of that highest degree monomial, which is 2. So the leading coefficient is 2. And now we're going to write it in standard form. Nicely enough, it's already in standard form for us. So 2x cubed minus 5x squared plus x. And I know that because the orders, it's a good thing that I wrote them up there, the orders are decreasing by 1 each time. Okay, They don't have to decrease by 1, but they do have to decrease as you move along. All right, so now let's do one that's significantly more complex so that we can kind of look at this in a different way. Okay, we've got one, two, three, four terms here. So what is the degree of this polyn or sorry, what type of polynomial is this? Well, there's four terms, and so we would just call this a polynomial. Okay, you don't have to do anything outside of that. Monomial, binomial, trinomial, and polynomial. Okay, what's the degree of the polynomial? Well, to decide that, we need to look at the degree of each of the individual monomials. So here's my first one. I've got an x to the fourth and y to the first. That adds up to 5. So this is a fifth degree monomial. Then I've got 2x cubed y the cube. So I've got a 3 and a 3. Those add up to give me 6. I move on to this one, x squared y to the third. They add up to give me 5. And then the 12 doesn't have any variables with exponents. Yeah, there's a 1 there, but remember, for the degree of the monomial, we're only interested in the exponents of the variables, and so that'll be 0. So what is the degree of the polynomial? Well, the largest one here is 6. So this is a 6th degree polynomial. Now, what is the leading coefficient? Well, that's the number in front of that biggest monomial. So that would be a negative 2. Don't forget the negative. So the leading coefficient equals negative 2. And now we'll go on, write it in standard form. So we have to go in order of their orders, the degree. Sometimes you hear it as order. What order polynomial is it? That's the same thing as degree. So this is a sixth order polynomial. So we're going to write this as negative 2x to the third y cubed. Now I've got two fives. So if they're both the same because of the different variables, then we're going to have to look at alphabetical. x comes before y. So which one has the larger order or larger degree x? Well, it's this one. So then we're going to go plus 5x to the fourth y, and then plus the next one, plus 8x squared y to the third, and then the 0 degree right there, minus 12. Now, the last one I'm not going to take too much time on because I want to fit as close as I can to my five minutes. So what type of polynomial is this? Well, this is a trinomial. The degree is a second degree. 
I'm not going to explain this one. You can kind of figure out the leading coefficient equals 4. That's a tricky one. See if you can figure that one out. And then in standard form would be 4xy plus y squared plus x to the 0. Remember, these two both have a degree of 2, so we go alphabetically, which means this guy comes first, which is why the 4 is the leading coefficient. All right, hope that's good enough.